Oh, these horse flies are flying in. <laughs> One just bit me on the right foot. Ah, oh, shit. Anyway, sitting here in Tasmania in the Skoda home. I've been in this little spot. It's a beautiful little spot for, I think, four days now. It sort of reminds me out there of a bit like Africa. Hoping to see an elephant walk past. Or a lion. Something exciting. But there's been some kookaburras and there's plenty of bird life. And obviously there's um, biting insects. But anyway, I'm just going to show you this, what's been happening lately. Ronnie's just sent me this. This is an update on one of the next book covers. So she's been really busy working on this. Beautiful colours. She's just, she's just come up with it. It's fantastic. I love her work, obviously. Hope you do. And then she's come up with this one. She's added the words, etc., to it. And she's gone for a more darker colour, she's saying. And um, yeah, mystique about it. So she's given me that option of the, the green font or the orange font. Which I sort of like both, but I sort of, I sort of prefer that green. Oh, where is the green? There. I prefer that green. I just like the mystique, the darkness of it. And the colours, it sort of matches a little bit better. So you've got to add a few more tweaks to it, Avasta, but not, not much. Okay, so that's just an update. And it was raining this morning, but I'm going to love you and leave you and uh, carry on with my work here. This is what happens. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Love you all. Good morning. It's meant to be sunny been waiting a few days for this spell of sunny weather and it's raining but it is meant to get sunny and but only today and the next two days a bit of sun and cloud I really need um, no cloud at all so I've only got three days really before it, the weather changes again and I've been waiting for the spell to go to a lake that we've decided to call Pistachio Lake. Apparently I should see a bunch of pistachio shells at a spot where the gentleman that told me about it was last there. He's never caught a fish in it. Apparently there's one fish in it. Maybe it's dead, maybe it's alive, who knows. But, um, yeah, that's the challenge. That's going to be a chapter of the book. Obviously, I can't tell you what happens. Well, nothing's happened so far, apart from I'm trying to go there. But the car's very low. And it's not really suited, my little Skoda here, for these sort of roads. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's the challenge. To go to a lake that's got apparently one fish or no fish and see what happens yeah gotta drive there then i got a hike i don't know for two or three hours i've got it mapped on the map it's not a named lake but we've decided to call it like i said pistachio lake um yeah have a great day thanks for watching and this is what we get up to or i get up to see ya It's another day in the office. Mobile office. I seem to have spent most of my life sleeping in tents and cars and working. That's the part nobody ever sees. Um, and so I'm busy mucking around. Well, not really mucking around. Trying to work in here on the book. 
getting all the notes transferred from the last few days, week, uh, onto the computer over there to try and build the story for the book, Wandering Trout. I've also bought some other books for reference. This is all the work that a lot of people don't see behind the scenes. Um, yeah, and this one, this one's pretty cool. So I'm going to, I'm going to learn about some snakes. I, I would have liked to have known a little bit more before I arrived, but um, I'm, I'm a bit haphazard like that. But anyway, uh, the snakes have been seen. I'm going to learn what they get up to. Amazing creatures. Tent's nearly dry. Doesn't look like anything's going to happen out there today. I'm glad I got most things dried off yesterday. And it's just going to be a busy day. Rattling away on that computer. Trying to get at least a quarter of a chapter done. And, it's not, and that won't be finished. So, so yeah, there's a lot involved in trying to write a book. As such, especially when it's not just short stories, that that would be easy. So it's a full adventure. Anyway, have a great day. It's a little insight into life on the road. See ya. Hey guys, I'm in here and I'm in the car. It's a bit windy outside and rainy. Well, it's not raining just now, but there's a bit of a storm brewing. And tomorrow's meant to be the same, so I'm busy. I'm busy writing, ripping bits of paper up, and uh, working on the book, Wandering Trout. Uh, but I was just down in the city, and I decided... I might try and get a bit more te high tech on this uh, video shit or stuff. Sorry, did I swear? And I couldn't resist this. I bought this tripod. Pretty cool, eh? Bit of a shame they didn't have it in the funky colours. But the, <laughs> the reason I bought it and actually seen it was because look at the name of it. Joby. And... In Scotland, where I'm from, a joby, let me tell you, a joby is a shite. So, I had to buy it. Joby. Love it. Love it. What a name. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. So, okay. I've uh, done the man thing, and as you can see, I've removed the jobby from the box. <laughs> I love saying that. So the jobby's out the box, and this is what it looks like. It looks like a little, I don't know, a little alien or something. Seems pretty well made. Bit flash for me. I'm used to just using my hands. And tins of spam and stuff but anyway so let's see and uh, it comes with this little fella here so yeah there's two parts to this jobby and they look well made and inside here is the instructions and just like most males i'm leaving them in the box thanks for watching yeah Joby. Good morning. Well, um, just to just sort of show you my little fly box. It's sort of falling apart for the first time. It's pitch black outside, a bit of a storm. It's rather cold, I can't sleep. So I'll make this little video for you. Um, so this is an old fly box, I realise. Take this with me everywhere. I didn't realise how old it is. And actually, on here, 
I've engraved my old website. This just shows you how old I am. Or how old the box is, should I say. I don't know if you can read that on there. It says borntofish.co.nz. So this box has been around with me for many years. It's quite surprising. But I think I need a new one. Anyway, looks like uh, a lot of writing today. And I'll just be staying in here in the office. Love you and leave you. Thanks for watching. See ya. The sun's disappeared. It's all misty. It's still rather cold out there. So I'm sitting back inside my home, my office. There's not much room, but it's better than the tent at the moment. So I'm just going to show you some really cool stickers. There we go. Come in all different uh, colours. Got camouflage, green, blue, you name it. And the vinyl on these is really top quality. So UV resistant. Doesn't leave any residue if you, you want to take it off, whatever you put it on. And they last for years. Probably the best quality stickers you can buy and vinyl. And the actual trout on my stickers, on any of the Stu's uh, Superior Fly stickers, is an actual trout drawn by Martin, who sadly died, Martin Simpson, uh, a number of years ago. So this is a real trout from a river called the Nevis River. And I got it painted, but he used the outline for this uh, sticker. And every spot on this trout, believe it or not, is off that trout. It's pretty remarkable. He's, he was very talented. And rest in peace, brother. But there you go. You can buy these. And sometimes if you're lucky, if you put in a good order, you might get one free. Best sticker available. And it's, all, and it's got a great story behind it as well. Just brought them out for a bit of promotion on the next book, hopefully, to come out called Trout Love. I wrote it a couple of years ago. Got it edited. Spent a small fortune on it. And then decided I could, I could do better. So this winter I went, holed up in a little hut in the middle of the woods during the snow for another five weeks and rewrote it again. Same story, just rewrote it and hopefully it's much better. Apparently the editor says it is. I've just got to find time to work on it because at the moment I'm here in Tasmania working on the next book, hopefully. But there's a lot going on. But here, you can get these cool stickers as well. You can buy them. And sometimes if you're lucky, you may get one with an order. So that's what keeps uh, Stu Superior Flies so unique. There's nobody can match it on uniqueness. So I've been told. And so I'm led to believe. But I'll let you decide. So when that sun comes out, I'm fed up working in here this morning. And I'm going to go and try and catch a fish. And that's what makes Stu Superior Flies unique. The owner actually goes fishing and designs flies. I just don't sell shit. I'm into it. But you know that. Have a great day. Thanks for putting up with me. Oh. Here I am. I'm in my bedroom. This is the life. In my sleeping bag. I don't think it's going to be freezing tonight. I've been in here a couple of times this trip and it's been minus three outside. 
or inside. It's been absolutely freezing, but recently it's been good. It's my water bottle. Jump leads because I broke down recently. There's some supplies. Rucksack, you know, the usual. Right beside me here. There's my fridge. A couple of bits of bread. Everything's really handy. Just reading this book. It's pretty cool. It's worth a read if you're if you're bored. So yeah. Nothing too flash. Another book up there. Notepad. So yep. See the my nights are spent in here or in a tent. Not much room in either of them, but what do I need? So this is uh, the life of a fly fishing bum, wannabe writer, fly designer. I've been doing this for God knows how long, decades. This is the bit nobody sees. But anyway, enough of that. Just thought I'd give you a little squiz in my bedroom. Sun's just coming up over the Great Lake. Yesterday's storms just passed. It was a freezing night last night. My nose was frozen. And I couldn't open the office door this morning. It was frozen solid, so I had to give it a kick from inside. And it's actually much warmer outside, so... Summer in Tassie, bit of glitter on the Trout Love sticker and the Stu Superior Fly sticker. Bloody hell, it was a cold night. I'm going to love you and leave you and I'm going to have to get back in the office See if I can get a newsletter going. I struggled yesterday getting a connection. If not, I'm going to do some writing. Yeah, love you and leave you from Tasmania. Have a great day. Good morning. It's uh, just after five o'clock. It's probably about 5.30. Sun's just starting to come up. It got pretty cold there uh, near the end of it to wrap up. I'm busy working on a chapter here for hopefully this next book called uh, Wandering Trout that will probably take about a year to put together, maybe two, just like the other books. There's a lot of work involved behind the scenes. But this is what happens. Um, just doing this. And today... Hopefully it's going to be really sunny and no wind. So I'm going to do X amount of hours here, bit of work until the creative process up here stops. And then I'm going to go for a fish uh, somewhere different. And it's probably going to be about an hour and a half walk to get there. And I need to do that because I've got a bit of a limb, got a bit of a body issue happening. Uh, hopefully straighten that out. But this is it, first thing in the morning. It's too cold to go outside and uh, try and make something warm to drink. As soon as that sun warms up my office, I'm going to sneak outside. Uh, there's no mosquitoes outside at the moment. They're all um, knitting woolly jumpers because it's that bloody cold. Right, I'm going to love you and leave you. Catch you later, guys. Right here in front of me is a poo, but it's a wombat poo. And I've just realised all around my campsite, at night, these wombats come out and poo.
poo. They just don't poo anywhere. They're precision poors. They don't even have a head talk to the GPS. And they lay kebab square shaped tubs on stones. They hardly miss. It's amazing. Unlike us humans, some humans even miss the pan. God knows how. But this is just quite an amazing fact of Mother Nature. There's obviously a reason. But uh, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Go the wombats. Shake your hearts out. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, here I am in the office, busy writing this morning, bit of a storm outside. And I thought I'd give you my tip for today, something that you need to all get. It's one of these. Great product. Very cheap, great fun to have. And every fly fishing bum should have one. Anything to do with flies actually is fascinating. And there's... Got him. <laughs> there you go. Great value. Thanks for watching.